Now let us discuss about slotted aloha. We know that we have two types of aloha. The first one is pure aloha. Second one is slotted aloha. Already we have seen pure aloha in the last video. Slotted aloha is mainly useful in order to improve the efficiency or capacity of pure aloha there is some disadvantage with the pure aloha we can overcome that problem with the help of slotted aloha so we can say that slotted aloha is an enhanced version of pure valo pure aloha so the name itself specifies the meaning slotted aloha means the time will be divided into slots so here also we will use a shared medium only so multiple users shares uh, the common communication channel uh, let us see with the help of an example uh, let uh, we have uh, uh, times like this so let this is uh, user a time uh, next user b time user c time user d time user e time so let we have five users so this is nothing but this axis represents uh, time so all the users are sharing the same communication channel okay uh, we know about already we have seen pure aloha in pure aloha a user can sense the data whenever the data is available whereas in slotted aloha when the data is available then the user can't sense the data the user will waits for the end of the current slot and at the beginning of the next slot only the user can send the data so let us see with the help of some examples uh, so let we have uh, uh, slots like this let it be our uh, first slot so this is our first slot let it be our uh, second slot next let it be our third slot so here the time is divided into various slots okay uh, here let us assume that uh, uh, user has some data during the slot so user can't send data during the middle of the slot okay user can wait for end of the slot a user can sense the data at the beginning of the next slot only okay so now so in this slot user a can sense the data so let us assume that so here also when multiple users trying to transmit the data at the same time then the collision will occur okay so let us assume that during this time no other user is transmitting the frame so there is no problem so here we don't have any collision so this frame will be successfully received by the receiver so let us assume that during this slot so c wants to send a frame so during this slot e wants to send a frame so here the multiple users c and e are trying to send the frame simultaneously so what will happen now so we got the collision we got the collision so whenever we got the collision so what will happen the same frame will be retransmitted again after a random amount of time so that time can be called as back off time okay <coughs> so just like the uh, first one only pure aloha only so after sending the frame the sender will waits for the acknowledgement uh, for uh, the sender will waits for a random period uh, random period of time so that time can be called as uh, back off time uh, so after the time expires then the users will retransmit the same frame once again so in this way multiple users uh, uh, can send the data with the help of uh, various slots uh, now let us see about uh, vulnerable time let us see about vulnerable time so here the formula for the vulnerable time is t so this t is nothing but transmission time for a frame so let the user is transmitting a frame so in this slot here only one slot is needed why because here when the user wants to transmit a frame then the user can transmit only at the beginning of the next slot 
so at the beginning of the next slot only user can transmit the frame so user can't transmit yet middle of the slot or user can't transmit yet end of the slot so this is not possible here here the transmission time for a frame is so this transmission time is nothing but t only so here the vulnerable time formula is nothing but the transmission time only now let us calculate uh, the efficiency of the slotted aloha so here the formula is the efficiency formula is g into e power minus e whereas in pure aloha the formula is g into e power minus 2g why because there the vulnerable uh, time formula is 2g but here the vulnerable time formula is t only so that's why single g is single g is enough here here we will get the maximum efficiency when g is equal to 1 why because one slot is enough here at the during this that slot only user can transmit the frame so in the middle of the slot or at the end of the slot so nothing can't be transmitted here okay so when g is equal to 1 we get the maximum efficiency so here what is z value g value is 1 1 into e power minus z so minus z is nothing but 1 so 1 into e, e power minus 1 that can be written as 1 by e so 1 by the formula for the e is 2.72 so 1 by 2.72 so approximately this is nothing but 36 percent so here the efficiency of the slotted aloha is 36 percent whereas here we have minus 2 so that's why we will get efficiency as 36 by 2 that is 18 percent okay so here the point is the efficiency of the pure aloha is 18 percent whereas the efficiency of the slotted aloha is 36 percent so this is about uh, slotted aloha